Hello everyone, como es esa cafet? It's your girl Jasmine here and thank you so much for coming through to my channel today. I've gotten a lot of requests on my hair and I have finally taken the time to film this video. So the unit that I currently have is the finger comber unit. It's actually called the finger comber unit and it's in the color chestnut black which is very similar to the 1B color. I did a video on this before so if you haven't checked that out yet I'll be sure to link it in the above eye. And the price for this unit is around $78, which I think is a pretty good deal because there's so many different ways that you can wear it. Today, I'm sharing with you three of my favorite ways that I like to wear this unit. If you like these kinds of videos, please give this a big thumbs up. That way I know that these are the kinds of videos that you wanna see. And without further ado, let's get into it. This one is one of my favorite styles. It's kind of like a braid out. So I'm just taking my finger comber and I'm putting it halfway onto my head, leaving my two strand twist rolls out. I'm making sure to pin my finger comber to my head so it doesn't blow away. You know, I ain't trying to be going with the wind fabulous. He feels me. So I'm taking some of my DIY butter and I am just taking the twists out and kind of like separating them, but I'm not worried about definition because I really want it to match the finger comber. Right now I'm just finagling the finger comber even more so the hairs in the middle aren't sticking up and out. And I'm just pinning down some of those ends that won't cooperate with me. Once that's done, I'm just fluffing everything out, just making sure the finger comber and my natural hair look seamless. And that is pretty much the first style. The second style is fairly easy. I am just pinning my hair back with a scrunchie. I parted it down the middle also. And I am taking a finger comber yet again and I'm putting it on my head halfway as well to give me kind of like that pin back afro type look. So this is basically the same look but without the braid out and I'm pinning it down, making sure to cover my tracks and that is pretty much it. And you can add edge control if you want to. Um, I end up doing it for this style which is my low ponytail. So the same kind of pin back hairstyle and I'm putting the finger comber lower, pinning it back and that's pretty much it. All right, so that is all for today's video. Hopefully you found this super easy and doable. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want, I'll be sure to film more like hair videos for you guys. Just let me know what kinds of suggestions you have in the comment section down below. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already and turn on your notifications. That way whenever I post a video, you are going to be the very first to know. All right, so I am signing out. I wanna thank you all so much for watching and supporting and subscribing to my channel and I will see you all in the next one. Peace, out.